what is up you guys it's your girl z here if you're new here welcome make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the team if you're not new here welcome back it is silk press season it is blowout season it is whatever you want to call it season so i decided it is time to give you guys an updated straight hair routine so i'm going to be showing you guys how i straighten my hair using olaplex if you're not new here you know your girl has been talking and raving about olaplex recently so let's get into it and i'll show you how i use these products in my straight hair routine all right so first i start off with the olaplex number no. four bond maintenance shampoo this shampoo is meant to repair strengthen and nourish all hair types so with this, I just go in and shampoo like normal. I will do a shampoo, rinse, and repeat to make sure that my scalp is super, super clean. Like I said, this is going on four-week-old hair, so it is definitely time for a wash. So I want to just really work the shampoo in and make sure that I'm getting my scalp really clean. Then after shampooing, I will go in and apply the Olaplex number no. five bond maintenance conditioner. And with this, I will apply from maybe like my ears down the conditioner because you just cleaned your scalp. So you don't want to put this conditioner directly on your scalp. So maybe like mid all the way to your ends, mid, mid shaft, is that what it's called? I think mid shaft all the way down to your ends. And then while the conditioner is in, I will go in and detangle. So this is when I take my wide tooth comb and really just go ahead and work the conditioner in and detangle while the conditioner is working. Then once I have detangled good enough, I will go ahead and rinse the conditioner out. And I'm not going to t-shirt dry my hair just yet because we are about to go in with the Olaplex hair mask. So next I'm going to use the Olaplex number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask and this mask is meant to moisturize, smooth, add body as well as shine. And this mask they say to leave it on for about 10 minutes but I usually go about 20 minutes because I will use my conditioning cap and my conditioning cap stays warm for about 20 minutes. So as you can see, I'm using quite a bit of, of the moisture mask. It says to use one to two pumps, but if you know me, you know I am heavy handed with product and also your girl has a lot of hair. So I will apply a good amount of this moisture mask, tie my hair up into a top knot, and then go ahead and sit under my deep conditioning cap for, like I said, about 20 minutes. And at this time, I'll just Take some time, scroll on my phone, and be nosy and see what's happening in the world. All right, and once my 20 minutes are up, I'm gonna go ahead and take my deep conditioning cap off. Yes, I used an Ulta plastic bag. Sometimes you just gotta be resourceful, use what you have, okay? So I'm gonna rinse this mask out, and then once my mask is rinsed out, I'm going to t-shirt dry. Yes, t-shirt, you should be using a t-shirt to dry your hair or at least a microfiber towel. You don't wanna use a regular towel that causes frizz and friction and all that bad stuff. So once my hair is towel dried, I'm going to go ahead and just split my hair up into first two sections. I have to divide my hair into some sort of sections to get started on it. So once it's divided in two sections, then I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Olaplex number no. six Bond Smoother. So this is the leave-in reparative styling cream of the line, and this just helps reduce frizz, nourish, and protect your hair. With this, you don't have to use a lot. You will literally see I use just a dot because you don't wanna to put too much product or too heavy of a product in your hair when you are straightening it. So you really just need a small amount of this. So once I have the bond smoother worked into both sides really well, then I'm gonna go ahead and start dividing my hair up and I'm gonna actually put it in four sections just because working in fours is a lot easier for me while I am blow drying. 
All right, so we're gonna start with the back section. Before you put any heat on your hair, make sure that you apply a heat protectant. So I am using my tried and true Tresemme Keratin Smooth in the red bottle. I have been using this heat protectant for years and years and years. Absolutely love it. And now we're gonna go ahead and blow dry. And let me tell y'all, if you don't know about this blow dryer, now you know. I will link the video of my review of this blow dryer. This is hands down the best hair dryer for any natural, just anybody. It is the best blow dryer ever. I love this. It has definitely cut down my time that I spend blow drying my hair because it is just so easy. It's literally a brush with a blow dryer. It just makes blow drying so much easier and so much better. So as you can see, this blow dryer really helps stretch my hair out to get it as straight as possible so that when I go in with the flat iron, I don't have to do multiple passings of the flat iron. So that's the key to a good just like silk press or blowout is really getting your hair stretched out to a good state during the blow drying process. So I'm just going to repeat this for all four sections. I'm going to apply my heat protectant to each section and then blow dry all four sections. All right, so once all four sections are completely blow dried, it's time to go in and start the flat ironing process. So first I picked up this kind of like double-sided chaser brush, I guess you could call it. It's like a double-sided bristle brush, basically. I picked this up off of Amazon. I'll have it linked down in the description box below if you're interested, but I use this in combination with the um, Nano Titanium Baby Bliss flat iron I have a review on that as well I'll link above for you guys to check out but I use this to chase and I know y'all kind of came for me on my old video and was like sis that's not the chasing method okay well this is the chasing method okay so I use this double-sided brush thing <laughs> I don't really know what it's called to chase the flat iron and this just really helps with the tension so that you're creating tension while you are flat ironing that way it's just one pass and you're done. I will do maybe like two passes on my roots, but that's it. <laughs> but, ooh, can we talk about this gray hair that's popping out in the back? Do y'all see this? But I am just going to continue to do this method. So using this brush along with the flat iron really just helps give me a nice, silky, smooth silk press. Don't forget to continue putting heat protectant on each section that you're flat ironing. You just want to make sure that your hair is being protected because you are using a lot of heat with the flat iron. So 
heat protecting, super, super important. All right, so we are finally coming to an end. Overall, it takes me about an hour and a half to just flat iron all of my hair. So by this time, yes, my arms are killing me. They are definitely sore and I'm ready to finish up. So once I finish, I will go ahead and just take all the little clips that I have in my hair out part my hair down the middle. That's typically how I wear my hair straight. And then I'm gonna go in with my very, very favorite product out of all of the Olaplex products. And it is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. I just love this oil. It is super, super lightweight. I love to just finish off my silk press with this oil because it is such a lightweight oil give it a little shine I really put some on my ends just to make sure that my ends are looking good and healthy but you can also use this oil before you blow dry because it is a heat protectant oil as well so it protects your hair up to 450 degrees so you can use that um, before you blow dry as well but you can see I'm using here at the end of my silk press and we are all done. As you can see, this is how my hair is turning out. Very, very silky smooth, just like I like it. I love, love, love the way that my hair turns out. There's no better feeling than your hair looking good and knowing that you did it yourself. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you tried Olaplex or if this video has convinced you to try Olaplex. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.